So if you're a video editor, you already know how important it is to maximize your time and maximize your efficiency. You want to get as much done as you can in as little time possible. Video editors of the modern day have massive advantages over video editors of generations past because we have the power of AI behind us, these assistants that help us do things, and we can get specific things done in minutes that would have taken hours, sometimes even days before. That is an absolutely massive advantage to have. Now with that does come some controversy just because there's the question of if AI can do all of these things for us, how long is it going to be before it can just do our job? How long is it going to be before it can just replace us? And if you ask me, I think that AI isn't going to necessarily replace everybody's jobs. It's just going to replace the jobs of the people who rely only on AI and don't have any skills or any motivation or discipline or effort to do the task themselves. Let me explain. Those who leverage AI to help maximize efficiency of their already existing workflows will be just fine. Those will be the people that continue to innovate, to drive new successes, to find new frontiers. Uh, but the people who just rely on AI to do everything for them, make my thumbnail, uh, write my script, you know, make a character that speaks for me on camera just because I don't want to be on camera. The, the people that do that and try to apply that towards a professional workflow will be the people that lose their jobs, I think, in a professional sense. I mean, YouTube is one thing, but working with companies and big corporate gigs and stuff like that, that that's where it's different. That being said, one of the biggest problems that I have, and I know a lot of other video editors have as well, is the amount of time that it takes to take a horizontal video and convert it into maybe chopped up smaller uh, shorts or reels is just an astronomical amount of time. And it's a massive pain in the butt just because the video is done. I've already worked on the video. I don't want to have to remake the entire video as it exists currently just to reformat like the titles and the special effects and the motion graphics and stuff like that. I really just don't want to do that. It just takes so much extra time and I know it's worth it. I know it's definitely something that is worth doing, but that's where AI comes. There's this tool I want to tell you about called Submagic. Now, Submagic did indeed sponsor this video, but that does not mean that they have any say in what I'm saying. I have my policy of 100% honesty in all of my sponsored videos, so you know that whatever I'm saying is my own opinion. All my thoughts are <clears throat> all my thoughts are purely my own here. That being said, I want to show you what Submagic is and why it's so cool and why I'm so excited about it. Submagic is really cool just because you can feed it your finished, polished, horizontal, long form video. And what it does is it will take it, analyze it, it'll make transcripts in the background and all that stuff. And it chops it up into a bunch of different vertical reels or, or shorts for you. And it's got captions animated already uh, and it scales your video and stuff it all automatically i've given it a 10 minute video and it gives me back about 25 to 30 different clips ready to be exported take it saves so much time and what i think is so cool about it is that they're actually pretty good the the parts that it chooses to take and the, and the chunks that it decides to make videos out of are well chosen just because i think there's a i I don't know how it works. I think it makes the transcription of the video, right? And there's an LLM working behind the scenes with the reason or logic or whatever, figures what the most valuable parts of that video are. And then it makes the, the, the cuts and what, I don't know, but it works really well. And I want to show you guys how it works. So this is Submagic and I'm going to actually upload a video and show you guys, walk you through the process of how it gets its work done. So this is my homepage here. I'm in the create a new project page. I'm going to press get magic clips here. Uh, and there are a lot of options you have here. You could paste a YouTube. URL. You could import straight from Google Drive, which is really cool. I haven't used that feature personally just because all my videos are on my local storage here, but I could see how that'd be really useful. Uh, and this is where I'm just going to drag my video in. So I have my video right here, how to make anything cinematic. This was the video from the last week that I just finished recording and I'm just going to drag it in here. Okay. So it's picking it up. I'd like my captions. Okay. Let's look at the caption themes here. Um, let's do the Hormozy one. And then it's as simple as just pressing get viral clips. So now it's just gonna upload it's processing now we sit back and wait for a little bit so you can see here are two previous ones uh that i've used to make my uh short form videos already uh but we're just gonna sit and wait uh and i will get back to you when this one is done okay and just like that it's done rendering everything and making these clips it says it's done let's check it out i'm gonna click into my project here and so you see there's this system here right uh of it makes all of these these clips and i have a, a filtering system so i could approve any i could approve them here i could reject them here and deny them uh, or i could go in and edit and then approve or reject uh and once they're approved uh they come to the approved folder and from here i'll be able to export them just because all that i can see here in the all folder is just a low resolution preview and what's crazy is that I actually use Sora for the sound effect here. Uh, Sora now does sound. So uh, I've fed Sora a screenshot from this clip 
uh, and it gave me back that clip with the sound effects. I'll show you it. So here's a screen grab from my clip, and this is the raw image. So already, this is really good. It starts off really good. I'm going to go through and edit this one a little bit. So I'm going to press the edit button right here. As you can see, I can still change all of my caption formats. Uh, I'm going to keep, I like the caption format. I'm just going to go through and get rid of the emojis first thing first. That's because that's just me. Uh, go to the edit captions button here. And you can see here is the transcript of all of the words being spoken. Uh, and for every time there's an emoji, it pops up right here. But I'm just going to press X here, X, X. I don't need the emojis. And another thing I want to show you is check this out right here down beneath uh, beneath your preview. You have this button. It says hidden invisible. This is your safe zone area. So you can see where exactly the UI of whatever app you're in is. Uh, and I'm going to go back to choose style here. And here, if I don't want my captions to be right there in the middle of the screen, I could just move them around just drag them down just like that now they're out of the way you could see more of the video and this here it even makes a hooky title it uses its ai llm uh to make a title here and just based on the contents of this video it was able to title it can ai create realistic sound effect i'm gonna save that again just because that's really cool i'm gonna go back to my project here and now i'm just gonna approve this one right here and this goes over to my approved folder at which point i can export this in full resolution so i'm gonna go through a few more here Land Rover Defender, always along for the ride. So editing is just raw, permissible power. You can craft this narrative and make people feel whatever you want. And when someone chooses to watch, you're being trusted to steer exactly. I like this one. I'm gonna go through and edit it right away. I'm gonna go through and take away all of the emojis here. So I'm in the trim section here and I wanna start this video on where I start speaking. Uh, and so I can go through word by word and make my cuts here. So here we go. The very first thing on screen is me. So editing is just raw, permissible power. You can craft this. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to start with me talking just like that uh, and hit you with a little bit of a lecture about what editing is and how editing works. That's cool. It's done. Like, I don't have to edit this. I don't even I didn't need to go into resolve for this. I'm going to save this one. Go back to my project and approve it. So you have a lot to go through here. It comes up with a lot of stuff, uh, but let's go through the exporting process. So I'm going to go to this button right here. This is the export button. I'm going to click this and now it started to export this clip. You can see the exporting progress going up and up and up right here and boom, it's done. It's exported. I'm going to go to the exported tab and in the exported tab, here it is. It's done. I could press this button and press download and I am now downloading my short I didn't have to cut anything. It's all done. The amount of time that this saves. And I got to be honest, I was skeptical about this at first, just because I knew that these tools existed. I knew that they were around, uh, but I did not personally have any faith that these tools were going to be able to get the job done right or be able to just find the right parts of the videos to make the good clips about. But man, like, let me tell you, when I when I found this, when I was when I first started using this, I was floored just because I thought I was going to have to do this the entire time. And if oh, I want to go back and oh, I want to change something, I'm going to edit it. Let's move the titles down. I didn't move the titles down. Drag it down just like that. Done. I'll export it again. It's that easy to go in and get exactly what you want out of this tool. I mean, it's just it's just cool, man. These are one of the things that video editors of the past, I'm sure, wish that they would have had access to just because I mean, man, how, there's nothing more valuable than your time when working with this kind of stuff. I mean, and, th and that's why we learn things like keyboard shortcuts just to save on our time. So I'm pumped about this. I hope you guys are as pumped about this as I am, just because this is a massive way to save time. This is a massive way that you can save a ton of time uh, over the course of your entire workflow. So I'm I'm just happy that I had the opportunity to share this with you guys. Nothing but positive vibes and positive reviews from me. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Check Submagic out. I'm gonna leave a link uh, on the top of my description so you can go to their website and check it out. Definitely worth something looking into if you edit a lot of videos. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really do hope that you were able to learn something from it and uh, gain some knowledge. If you like this video, leave it a like. If you didn't, dislike it. If you have a question or comment, leave it down below in the comments. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.